Peter, uh, thanks for coming on. Uh, just kind of wanted to, to ask you and, and uh, your teammates and coach uh, about kind of where this team is at, at right now uh, mentally. You guys came into the season with such high expectations, um, and now you've lost two in a row. You're sitting at four and three. Uh, where are you guys at mentally? Uh, how are you feeling about the, how the season's going? Yeah, I think uh, whenever you come in with such high expectations like that, obviously it's going to be pretty frustrating when – you know, we're sitting where we are right now at four and three. I think those expectations haven't changed at all. I think we're just trying to narrow our focus a little bit kind of on just a day-to-day -day basis and a week-to-week -week basis and stop trying to think about the big picture so much. Um, you know, we got a lot of little things that we need to get better at. So we're just trying to take it day by day and kind of get better, not, not really get too down on each other or, or frustrated at the whole thing. Um, we just got some small things that we need to fix up as a team, and we think that we're, we're going to be just fine. Just a quick follow-up on the frustration of uh, when – and not blaming any one person, but when you're not getting the ball uh, with the face-offs, uh, you know, that has to be frustrating, especially for the defense that has to keep playing defense all the time. How, how are you guys dealing with that? Yeah, you know, we're just – we're confident in our guys that we have. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, we're not getting the ball as much as we would like, but – you know, we're, we're trying to find ways that we can work around that. There's a ton of ways you can get the ball and the cross, you know, clears, cross turnovers. And we think, uh, you know, our guys are going to start to turn around here and, and really show their skill. And, um, you know, wing play can definitely be a lot better. That's something that I'm involved in personally, and we haven't been on top of our game. So there's a lot of areas that just outside those guys. We're not, we're not putting the blame on them for any of the results this year. Thanks, Mark. Andrew? Hey, Peter. Uh, I wanted to ask about you and the rest of the short stick group as a whole, um, Dami, Sam, Brandon, and just how you feel that you guys have kind of evolved as the season's gone along. Any areas that you felt you guys needed to work on after the first couple of weeks? Oh, uh, yeah. We think, you know, we're a pretty athletic uh, a group. Um, you know, obviously you can always get better at, at just little things like at positioning with a short stick is pretty hard. Uh, I would say playing short stick the mini is probably the hardest position in lacrosse. Just you're always getting run at all game long. So you can always work on little things like, uh, you know, your positioning and the way you're defending people. But we've just been trying to focus on the off the ball stuff as kind of a group, uh, you know, the four of us, and then kind of the whole defense, because that's kind of where we're uh, struggling right now. So just trying to work on, you know, small little habits that we're not doing a good job of kind of off the ball that we're focusing on this week. Now what kind of drills will you kind of do to work on the off ball stuff? Is it a lot of communication stuff or like, what are you kind of working on in practice specifically? Yeah, we're just keeping each other accountable with kind of having your head on a swivel, looking behind you, communicating, just like small little things that probably seem pretty easy to a viewer, but when you're on the field is obviously not as black and white as it might seem when you're, when you're watching the game. So, uh, you know, when watching the film, we're, we're definitely frustrated with that off the ball play. And um, it was tough to watch, but it's something that we're, you know, putting an emphasis on and we're trying to get better at. Thank you. Lindsay? Well, good afternoon. I like your thoughts. I, I don't know if you had a chance to watch any Albany film yet. It's a Tuesday afternoon, but um, ha have you, and if you have uh, just your thoughts about from the last game, how the their offense seems to have adapted uh, without the Hoka in there, um, what you see from them, are they doing anything different? Uh, he's a big piece to lose. So uh, what do they look like now to you? Yeah, I think sometimes when you have a guy that carries the ball that much, um, you kind of rely on him. And then when you take him out of the picture, you kind of see more of a team-oriented offense. So I think that's just what we're focusing on, which is, you know, something that is good for us regardless because that's an area that we need to work on. So just working on kind of playing six-on-six -six defense against six-on-six -six offense versus like a one-on-one -on -one matchup when you have a guy like Tohoka. Yeah. And interesting story in Inside Lacrosse Magazine today about how the uh, – tournament selection is right around the corner five weeks and the, the, the status the form of the tournament exactly is not quite known about opening around sites and and whatnot um i know it's a few weeks away but you guys you know we have to make a stretch run you know toward the end of the season in the tournament what are your thoughts when you look at this team in the tournament and where you ultimately want to wind up uh, when seeding weekend comes oh yeah I mean, we haven't really talked about that too often here we're just trying to focus on albany right now so uh, when that time comes, you know, we'll see where we're at, but we're just really focused on Albany. Okay, thanks. Roshan? Um, Peter, I want to go back to the, the face-off stuff a little bit. Um, you know, obviously Jacob's someone who's facing a little bit more adversity than, than maybe he's seen in, in his entire career. How do you see him and the other face-off guys kind of responding to that and kind of working with each other? 
yeah, I know they've been, you know, battling every week in practice, uh, you know, regardless of if they have a good week or a bad week, but they've definitely been really focused this week, trying to make each other better and really keep each other accountable with all the little stuff they're doing in practice. And uh, I've been pretty proud of the way that those guys have been going at it and taking this on a personal level. So I think you'll see them turn it around this weekend. Yeah. And I guess with Jacob in particular, you know, obviously he's someone you've worked with for a couple of years. Um, like when, when he gets pulled in those two games and those um, Notre Dame games for, for Danny and, um, and for, for the backups, I guess, like how, how does he respond to that? Oh, yeah. You know, he definitely takes it, it personal. Um, he wants to, you know, be the heart and soul of the team in the middle there. And I think that he just continues to work hard and, and continues to try to get better. So I think you'll see a nice response out of Fop this week. Thank you. Next, go to Brian. Hey, Peter. I'm curious, you know, what kind of offensive challenges do you think Albany presents um, for you guys? Uh, yeah, I, I know, kind of like I said earlier, I guess they're playing more of a team oriented offense and a one on one, which sometimes can be easier to defend. So I just think just, you know, the team defense aspect of the whole is something that obviously if you watch a game, we've been struggling with a little bit and something that we're trying to work on, like I mentioned earlier. So just simple stuff like uh, making sure we have our slides you know, ready our rotations faster and uh, just making sure we're communicating, kind of playing, uh, you know, six on six as a group rather than just each individual guy one on one. And then I'm just curious, how, how have you seen Drake Porter evolve over this season? Has, you know, Notre Dame obviously had a good game against you guys. What have you seen out of Drake throughout the season, would you say? Yeah, I think Drake's the best goalie in the country and probably the best goalie I've ever played with. I have no, nothing bad to say about him. He's been a incredible leader off the field and on the field. And uh, he's really just stepped up huge in every game for us, I think, without him, we, we might have even a different record. So um, I couldn't have more nice things to say about Drake and just what he's been to the, our team this year. Looks like that's it for the first round of questions. Everybody got one. If anybody's got a few more, we got a couple of a little bit of time left. Uh, we'll take some second questions. If not, uh, we can let Peter hop off. Good. All right. Thanks for joining us, Pete.